only one game left but stand between us and the national championship game. Not only that, I finished fifth in the Heisman Trophy. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Now one team that stands between us and the national championship is ECU. Now I must say, they do got some weapons surrounding them. And one stellar quarterback. Now I wonder why they ran the eighth in the nation at passing yard per game, but they going against the number one in defense in the nation. Now and Khalid Corso is predicting the huge upset, but we shall see how things turn out. Now going against an air raid passing attack like ECU, we definitely had to be on our A game. I mean, from the front line, defensive line, secondary, as we make our first tackle, and it goes for 10 and end this national championship game. And just like that, we already up 7 to nothing. It's Killer Ringo, one of the, if not the best cornerback in the nation, makes a stop right there, second and 14. As you know who going to make plays. And the defense is fired up coming into this game. Lee Crosso predicted them to win, so that gave us a little motivation. That pass is caught, and that is caught for Jalen Johnson picks up six. They go out going forward on fourth and one, and even though we made the stop, they pick up the first down. But second and 10, this guy can see it handily take over a game whenever he feels like <laughs> third and 12, and we nearly get an interception. That nearly going the other way. They cheated us out of interception, but that's okay. As that huge run it goes for a nice game as Mitchell picks up 16 on the play, third and nine, and we continue to make plays. That goes for a negative four-yard rush. First and 10, and we get our first second here in this national championship game. You love to see it, and our offense actually stepped up. As we make a tackle right there, first and 10, as we trying to get another sack, but that pass is caught, and that's only good for five yards. As this is a one score game with a wide receiver screen, but good pursuit right there by the defense. They go three and out. Another third and 10 situation and just nowhere to run. I mean, this game straight motivated us. Appreciate you, Lee Crosso, for picking ECU to upset the number one team in the nation. That just added fuel to the five. First and 10. We nearly get that for a sec, but the top cornerback in the nation. Kelly Ringo is nearly taking it to, to the crib and he nearly has a convoy, but he get tripped up just at the one yard line and the offense punched it in as we are pretty rolling comfortably in this game. This dude, that just icing on the cake. You cannot, not to say, even though he didn't win the Heisman Trophy, this dude here is the best player in the nation. You can't deny it. As we need to get another sack on the plate and Kelly Ringo just dropped the interception, but that's all. Thank you, Lee Corso, for predicting the ECU to beat the Georgia Bulldogs, but y'all know that was not going to happen. Now, even though we did not win the Heisman Trophy, and it kind of bothered me that we didn't, but I got the national championship to show for it. And after a dominant performance in the national championship game, it was obvious. If I was eligible for the draft, I would clearly be the number one draft pick. So, I ended to my junior season, the expectation was sky high. To a dominant back-to-back -back seasons, Let's see what Mel Kiper had to say about me. Complete player, Max. 34 and a half tackles for a loss. He was tremendously impactful against the run. His character is off the charts. When you put it all together, he's clearly the number one player in the draft. Will he be the number one pick overall? Uh, it, that remains to be seen. If the team's picking number one needs a quarterback, you got some big timers up there at the top, and you would take the quarterback. It was a lot of press for us heading to my junior season being ranked number one in the country, possibly being the number of our draft picks in, in this year's draft. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure on us, but we was ready for it. DC was ready for it. Coming against Kentucky, our first home game of the season, we was ready. Kirby Smart had us ready as we made a play right there, tackle for a loss since the Kentucky three and out. First and 10, our offense get three points. As long as they score points, that's all that matters. And the running back picks up seven, and we got this offense lineman scared. Another wide receiver screen, they go three and out. And the offense put up 10 points. You love to see it, man. You can see the relentless, the speed. This this kid is just unreal. Now, now I wonder why many scouts had this guy projected being the number one overall draft pick. I mean, what can't he do? Now, with less than 30 seconds left, being up 17 to nothing, Kentucky tried to make something happen. Let's keep picking up 11 yards, but when you have the best player in the nation getting sacks like that, it's hard for Kentucky to move the ball. With less than 10 seconds left, we get back to, well, we almost had back-to-back -back plays, and that's just dropped by Malachi Starks. Four seconds left, I can imagine they're only gonna run the ball, and you can see the pursuit. This guy is just relentless, man. A motor just, just never stops. 
We up 24 to nothing. Our first home game of the season, and the quarterback gets smacked as he go down for a sack. Second and 16. We drop back in zone coverage once again, and you love you see your teammates eating, man. Not just one person wrecking the game. As a quarterback tried to take off again, he is sacked once again. I'm being up 31 to nothing. Coverage Martin pretty much turned the dogs loose. And turned the dogs loose, he did. As DC gets yet another sack. Just building on his NFL resume. Second and 12. As we just continue to get pressure, dial up pressure. But that pass is caught by the receiver. Second and nine. And we get yet another sack. And we actually force a fumble. I mean, this kid is just a bright NFL star in the making. Third and 17, and we just really <laughs> pounding this quarterback. No homo. First and 10, to get yet another second. What a dominant performance to start off the season. Man, this kid is just something special. This home crowd, you get the crowd into it, man. It, it was just something special to see this kid on the field. We finished the game with nine tackles, six tackles, all four sacks, one forced fumble. Now, coming to our second straight home game, we knew we couldn't let up against South Carolina. Even though they was 0-1, we couldn't take nobody lightly. This record, he catches the pass for 18 yards. That's going to bring up a second and six, and that pass is dropped by M Menden Jr. That could have been six the other ways. We get our first sack of the game, and we force a three and out. First and 10, we are already up 14 to nothing, and we just continue to make plays. Kirby Smart got this team ready to go week in and week out. Third and 14, and we get another sack. Second sack of the game. Like I said, this kid motor just don't stop. And that pass is caught across the middle by the tight end, and he gets smacked, but he, he holds on to the rock and picks up 18. And this offensive line definitely needs some help. It's Hall, the go-to guy. He picks up eight. Second and two. And we get another sack, third sack of the game. When I say the kid don't stop, this kid just don't stop. He got the speed, the power, the relentless. Only thing he's pretty much slacking, I'd say, is his own coverage, man, coverage. But other than that, this kid is just the perfect prospect, if you ask me. Now, third and 15, we get another sack. When I say this kid motor don't stop, this kid motor don't stop stop is he better than his dad is he worthy of that number overall draft pick y'all let me know but third and seven we up 14 to nothing it's still anybody's game and like i say we love to see our teammates eat as our teammates get a sack right there let's go break up a second and third and seven actually and we actually get put on our ass for the first time but that is intercepted we trying to make a house call but he get tackled just inside the 10 as we are pretty comfortably, and Kirby Smart just turned the dog loose. <laughs> when I say turn the dogs loose, y'all know what that means. As we walk out here with the W, man, to start the season off 2 0, is this kid worthy of the number one overall draft pick after this season is done? Y'all let me know. It's your boy, I say, right? Logging out to next time, man. You like, comment, subscribe on the video. I apologize for the two week, you know, layout, but I just had to lay low, get my head straight, and get things, you know, just take a break from this game sometimes. <laughs> You know what I mean? But as you can see the stats, five sacks. This kid is special, man. But like, comment, subscribe on the video, and I'm gone. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.